other management method is VTY in router we call them VTY either virtual terminal line either virtual TV type either telnet in simple word we call them a telnet what is VTY what is terminal what is telnet basically this is a way to connect to your network devices remotely like you are using a uh, team viewer yeah to connect to your device remotely from anywhere in the world but because in cisco router in cisco switch and cisco sa there is no graphical way so that's why we are using command based uh, command based application which we call them vty either telnet to remotely access the device and configure it so we call it a telnet and telnet is using port number tcp port number 23 what is telnet is up to you you have to enable virtual line it's up to you how many line your device support and how many you can enable even though you have a physical interface one but at a time how many people can connect to your device remotely using the same physical port but virtually it can be so many guys to connect to your device and configure it on the same time so we call the vty how we do so let me show you first in router in router how we do telnet so we configure them like a line vty and here is it supporting only five person to connect it on the same time so i say zero to four it means five people can remotely connect to my device and can configure it remotely and i type password one two three and login sorry login this is the way to enable telnet so easy and router how let me show you let me connect to do show ip and sorry to do show ip interface brief what is this router ip 10 so let me connect remotely and use telnet open and now i'm in the password is 123 and now i log into the router let me change something so that you can know 123 what was the password 111 yeah configuration host name uk if i say enter so look at the somebody change remotely my device detail because i'm remotely lagging how i know type command who it says somebody lagging with vty i just told you what is vty virtual terminal line either virtual tv type that somebody is connected to vty with no username because you are using uh, password only and the IP is this one you know this is my IP this is my this device 1.50 I am connected to this R1 remotely let me connect another person because I can connect up to five so let me do a duplicate session and one two three and let me do another duplicate session one two three and let me do another duplicate session one two three how many is four so let me check how many are now connected it say one two three four but i am allowed to connect five virtually so let me connect another one as well duplicate session one two three now five is enough zero to four it was who so now one two three four five it say that somebody is connected to virtual terminal Two, then three then four then five then six now after this when I try it will give me an error look at now no it's a network error connection refuse now you have two way to connect now at a time five people can connect because I say VTY 0 to 4 either to disconnect from here clear line number what line number like suppose two enter now i disconnect one now i can connect another guy now if i want because now now i have a space yes now it's going to connect so this is remotely to connect 
and you know telnet is not secure way but i am just telling you there that this is also a way to connect to your device remotely and do configuration management configuration this is the way to configure telnet in your router now coming to our main topic how we can do it in a cisco sa let me close this sorry the sounding very bad okay uh, how we can do a read only telnet uh, no no there is a privilege level we can put by the way if you go to enable a question mark there is privilege level 0 to 15 you can put restriction there that what he can do this person and whatever command he can run but uh, directly there is no such way that you say that he yeah, when he is logging through telnet so he can do only this yeah if you are using cisco ice and connect your device and you provide them specific privileges so he will be only allowed to read only like a show command so we have two way either to use built in privileges level and assign and there is by the way another after privileges there is another view we call them view you can create view as well by the way if the command is here so let me show you okay view is not in the cisco as it is in router configuration uh, parcel view parcel view so there is a parcel view command which you can put whatever you want to assign a specific person so either if he log in through ssh either telnet either console he will do only specific things which you allowed it maybe it was only only read only like in your case uh, read only means like he can only run show command even in show command you can restrict them to show like a show run only show ip address only these thing okay but uh, directly there is no such way so we have a parcel view we have privilege level and the third and highest level is to connect your devices through cisco ice cisco ice as cisco uh, centralized management system and from there whatever you put them it will be pushed to the devices and whenever the uh, support guy log in it uh, they will only run show command when administrator log in so you can put restriction and so on anyway so now coming to our topic now how we can configure telnet and cisco sa which is totally different from uh, cisco router i just show you in cisco router that you get idea here there is no such way to go to line vty here is type telnet directly sorry go to configuration you have to be in configuration mode okay i am in cisco sa type telnet telnet question mark is asking me give me the ip address who is authorized to access this device through telnet now you will ask me how we can do this the same thing in router by the way so in router we want to restrict someone so we configure access list like access list 1 permit 192.168.1. one dot something else let me give them beside my ip uh let me give them one suppose and line vty 0 to 4 and here the command is access class 1 n i say check this access list who is allowed only 1.1 but my ip is 1.50 can i do telnet before i done it before two two minute before i done telnet with this device but this time i will not, i cannot do 1.10 is my router ip 10 yeah if i check it will say no look it no no one is logging because i put restriction i say only one is allowed okay if i change my ip then i am allowed because my ip is 50 if i go to my interface and change this ip to one this is the only thing i need to do now i can do i done nothing yeah okay i just uh, change nothing but i just change my ip only so if i say telnet now it will be happen it has to be happen if my ip is changed then it has to be happen is one it is one no sir you have entered 10 okay 
okay maybe i put something so 1.1 .1 i put i allowed 1.1 yeah i say only 1.1 .1 is allowed and my device ip do show ip interface brief yeah 1.10 so this time the telnet has to work and let me go to telnet it has to work by the way maybe yeah it's working now one two three but if i change my ip which i use to my ips 50 then i cannot connect so this is a restriction normally we use this only give ip of the administrator so administrator is allowed only and nobody else in the network can access the device through telnet even though telnet is enabled but beside this ip nobody else can do a telnet with this device but in cisco it's so easy it's asking me who you want to allow authorized to access your device so i say 192 168 1.50 is my device okay which is from inside tenet sorry i need to uh, submit mass by the way 255 255 255 255 inside that a person with ip 1.50 which is this guy is only authorized to do tenet with with me this device cisco sa so this was the first command to allow only a single person but you may thinking that no 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 i need to allow everyone from inside so just type zero zero inside what is does mean zero is zero 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 means zero dot zero dot zero zero dot zero dot zero subnet mask with inside it's the same thing that's why it's give me error i put in shortcut this is in whole range So it's up to you which method you want to use. Either maybe you thinking that I want to allow the whole subnet, not everyone. Zero zero means it can be anyone from any subnet. If I say 192.168.1.0.255.255.255.0 1 inside, it means anybody coming from this range. It can be 1.10, it can be 150, it can be 1.1, 1.2 and so on. So this method is for that one. Show running telnet. Let me show you. I type all the three command. This one is for single IP to allow. This one is for to allow everyone. And this one is to allow a specific subnet. If you want to allow a single IP, you have to put full subnet mask. Means check this IP, check this IP, check this IP, and check this IP. Here I say only three means first IP has to be digits should be this one, then second is should be this one, the third one and zero means it can be anything. It can be 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 and so on. So it's up to you how you want to enable a telnet and for who you want to enable a telnet. Now coming back telnet and question mark. <clears throat> second command is a timeout. <clears throat> what is it timeout is in minute by default is five minute if nobody is lagging somebody is lagging from here and they don't want to use them suppose i give them one minute that if it is idle for one minute just close the session now it's done but the thing is yeah it's okay till then time out is set IP address is set, but what about the password and username and all those stuffs? So two things. You remember we can configure telnet by two way. If I type line VTY 0 to 4 login local in router, again I'm in router. So when I do okay, I cannot do because I put the restriction. So let me go to line VTY and remove no access class one and so that i can tell net so let me do tell net with the router 192.168.1.10 tell net now it's asking me a username before it was only asking password so the user is admin password is one two three which i create before if you remember do show run section password there is a username and password i create so you have two way if you put local it will ask username and password both 
if you put no local it will only ask password the same is here in Cisco SA now I done these two job only so running I just give them to who can access this device and the timeout now the password is password you remember I just show you before one two three that's it till it is configured now let test them what is the IP address show interface IP brief it is opposite the command I show interface IP brief this is the IP address let me go to router and do telnet from here telnet go to 1.10 and now it's open it's asking only a password 123 now I'm in Cisco SA from router I log into Cisco SA either let me go from here because I allowed anybody so let me type sorry IP address 192.168.1.100 1 this is the IP address of Cisco SA firewall and I configure telnet so let me enable telnet and password is 123 now I'm in Cisco SA how I know here I can say show session either who command is also working here by the way enable one two three and who it said two person is login one dot ten which is my router I am doing telnet and one dot fifty so it's working in means with password only password like in a router which we configure it so the same I done it here I type one command telnet zero zero inside and then I put telnet timeout let me show you the timeout as well I'm doing nothing here for one minute it will be kick out and it will be closed okay with password okay now I need to do it like a router which was asking the username and password both so if you need a telnet in Cisco SA to ask username and password so first create username <coughs> admin <coughs> password 123 <coughs> then type AAA authentication this time I don't need a serial I need a telnet here is a telnet and now console is the keyword now you it's clear to you yeah before I use this console with serial now I'm using with telnet and I will say local database in local database I have a username with admin so I say whenever somebody is logging through telnet please ask them the username and password but when you are not typing this command it will only ask the password which we said before a password only now test them again let me go to new session either duplicate session is better this time is asking a username and user is admin and password is 123 but before it was only asking the password and good way of Cisco SA you can say show running telnet that only show me the configuration of telnet this command is not available in router and router we normally do like this one let me exit from here and router we show running and section telnet there is no standard by the way so I will say VTY we do like this one but in Cisco SA is a good way they'd show me only telnet related stuff so these all are telnet related stuff and also there is another good way just type clear config telnet only delete everything related to telnet do you think it's deleted yes let me show you show running telnet there is nothing beside this command was the default one telnet timeout five minutes i put them at telnet timeout one minute everything is being deleted but in router there is no such command you have to type no no telnet no telnet no this no this no this then it will be deleted so this was how to configure telnet in cisco sa so you can type a whole subnet you can type a single IP you can type to allow everyone okay from inside you can set a timeout after this time the session will be closed automatically if you need only passwords type this command 
if you want username and password both then you have to go to authentication tenant local and the command to check it who and to see only the configuration of tenant run command show running tenant and to clear the configuration use config telnet one last thing let me tell you when you configure telnet and router you can log in from anywhere to telnet but in cisco sa telnet is only allowed for foreign side let me type do one thing telnet 0/0 outside i configure telnet for outside do you think it will i will do telnet from outside even though if i allowed everything no this is keep in mind because telnet is not secure so cisco sa say okay you want to configure telnet it's okay but i will configure telnet for inside which is a secure area but if you want to enable telnet for outside even it is enable but nobody can do telnet with me because this protocol is not secure protocol so i will not allow anybody from outside to do telnet even though you forcefully tell me to allow but i will not allow anyone even though if i allow a router here i need some permission so if i put a permission to allow telnet from outside again nobody will do telnet why because this is the default behavior of cisco sa this is a security device and it will say why you want to configure a telnet for outsider which is not protected protocol which sending the traffic and clear text so keep in mind and router it doesn't care you can connect from anywhere from outside from inside from internet it doesn't care it's up to you if you configure a telnet you can do telnet from anywhere but in cisco sa it's not allowed so we done this part how many session we can allowed how many people we now it using port number 23 if you don't need that is using 23 port so you can do our shark and you can check it i show you many time this one just click and it will show you that it using port number 23 okay and cisco router we call it vty virtual terminal line but in uh, router but in cisco sa we directly type telnet to configure telnet okay the next one we will do ssh is enough for to 